Okay, so today's video is about Suburgatory, which is a satirical sitcom on ABC. I only know it's on ABC because I just looked on Wikipedia. <laughs> I watch all my TV on Hulu. So considering most of the people watching our videos right now are family and friends, and hopefully at the very least family, I figured I would give a crash course and that way the people who are close to me can check out the show. Um, I figure you all have similar senses of humor, so you can probably appreciate it. Jeremy Sisto plays George Altman, and he was also the douchebag boyfriend in Clueless, for those of us old enough to remember that movie. Jane Levy plays Tessa, who is George's teenage daughter, um, and the show pretty much centers around the two of them. George decides that now that Tessa's a teenager, living in Manhattan is no longer healthy for her, so he moves her to the suburbs to a town called Chatswin. And that's where the craziness begins. Chatswin is this twilight zone full of caricatures of people. You have Cheryl Hines, who plays this quirky housewife that's got some pent-up sexual things going on and wears a lot of pink and pretty much looks like Malibu Barbie. And then she's got a daughter who more or less looks like Malibu Barbie Mini-Me. Malibu Stacy, I guess. And uh, the two of them are like super airheads. One of them in a lovable way and the other in a very awkward way. But it's kind of brilliant. Actually, I keep meaning to look into whether or not the girl who plays Cheryl Hines' daughter is actually the way she is in real life, because if she's not, she is an incredible actress. That character is... her name's Dahlia? And Cheryl Hines' character's name is Dallas? I mean, these people are just nuts. And then you have the neighbors across the street, Sheila and Fred Shea, played by Anna Gasteyer and Chris Parnell from SNL, and they are hilarious. Chris Parnell plays the character he pretty much always plays. He's Dr. Spachemin, or he's, I don't know, what's his name, Cyril from Archer. He's that guy, but he's, like, passive house husband guy who, like, doesn't wear the pants in his relationship. Anna Gasteyer is kind of this bitchy, overbearing thing. She ends up being the foil character for George. And then you have Noah who is a friend of George's from when they were younger, and actually the reason they moved to Chatswin. Um, Noah's played by Alan Tudyk from Firefly, and he's hilarious. I mean, he's always hilarious. He's hilarious in everything he does, but he's especially hilarious in this show because he plays this, like, crazy, repressed dentist guy who, like, <laughs> he is clinging on to George as some sort of urban influence. Allie Grant from Weeds is in it. Um, she plays Lisa, who turns out to be Tessa's best friend when they move in. Uh, Lisa is actually um, the Shay's daughter. Lisa isn't like the rest of the people in Chatswin, so she kind of gloms on to Tessa when she moves into the neighborhood. Tessa's an outsider looking in on the whole thing, but Lisa's kind of a insider who just wants to get the hell out. Um, there's also Malik, who is kind of the token black kid, and is treated as such for the most part. The first season is mostly about them adjusting to their new lives in Chatswin. Um, the second season starts to delve into some, some deeper discussion, some more philosophical type themes. Um, the episode that I saw yesterday that made me want to make the video was all about, uh, there's two different storylines going on, one where Tessa is dating a football player and she learns about the football girlfriends and how, you know, it's essentially their whole purpose in life to create banners and wear t-shirts and hype up their football boyfriends, um, which ends up being a very interesting, um, look into <laughs> those, you know, the, we may not, as people who are outside of that dichotomy, we may not fully understand why that all works, but in their strange little ecosystem, it does, was essentially the moral of the story. Like, that's what they're into. 
you know, and when, when there is no spirit, the football players can't perform well because they don't have the backing of a whole school or the backing of their pom-pom waving girlfriends or whatever. It's like a thing that functions because it functions. It was kind of awesome. George this time had decided to put together a band for all the dads on the block. And they were going to rock out together, and then they decide to let Sheila join. And this is another, you know, just example of the unsung awesomeness that is suburgatory. Anna Gasteyer sings Barracuda when she auditions for the band, and it's like probably one of the greatest moments in TV history. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. If it happens to, I don't know how ABC deals with that kind of stuff, but I'll try to link it if at all possible because it's pretty amazing. George's storyline is pretty much about how um, he wants the band to do well, but at the same time, you know, doing extremely well means that he would have to deal with Sheila all the time. So either he's good or he's having fun. And it's, uh, it's interesting because, you know, I guess that's the reason I like satire and the reason I probably will move in that direction when my writing career actually starts to shape itself, um, satire is brilliant because it's a it's a study of the things around you magnified so that you can dissect the craziness.